Hello and welcome to episode 25 of my Using Todoist series, although I must confess I have recently changed the name of my series because now we've gone beyond setting up Todoist and moving now towards working with Todoist. So I've changed the title to Working with Todoist, but I'm keeping the episode numbers the same, so we're on episode 25. Okay, in this episode I want to go through with you how I'm using filters and how you can also, or well hopefully this will give you some ideas of how you can use uh, filters. Now, one of the things that I don't like to do is have lots and lots of filters because I know what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and this is where I focus my attention. I know that my administration work I tend to do in the evening, my writing work I tend to do in the mornings, in the afternoon is my exercise time and between all that I am teaching classes and doing workshops. So I know my working style and this is how I've worked on my filters. So I'm just going to go through the filters that I have here. The first one as you can see up at the top is my dashboard filter and this is slightly different from the home version that I have. Now remember if you if you remember from the episode I did on setting up or your settings I have a uh, an opening filter which puts my inbox at the top and then my today tasks. But in my dashboard filter, I have my inbox at the bottom. This is really only because I tend to look at my dashboard either on my iPad or on my iPhone, and I'm not too bothered about what's in my inbox at that time. I'm just doing a quick look to see what I have left to do today. My focus tasks is a filter that I use regularly, and this Oh, sorry, before I go any further, if you want, I'm going to put all these filters codes into the notes section underneath this video. So if you want to use any of these filters, feel free to copy and paste them. So if I look at the edit one here, my uh, dashboard is overdue and today and inbox. So we do P double dot inbox, P colon inbox. Um, OK, so my focus task, uh, my focus filter is only really is my uh, flagged tasks, uh, the flagged ones that I have uh, today and or overdue, although to be honest it's very rare that I would have a flagged task that's overdue. So um, I have a ongoing um, reminder if you like. I don't normally use Todoist for this but I wanted to keep myself focused that I need to be more active in March because I've been a little bit lazy over the last couple of months so I wanted to make sure that I was walking more, exercising more. So in my focus uh, filter it's just uh, flag one, P1 and today and overdue. And what this means is any task that has a priority of one and is due today or is overdue will show up in my focus um, filter. My project work. Now, this one is uh, one because of my system of, uh, if I just go in here, I have a routines folder which contains all the things that I have to do on a daily, weekly or monthly basis, plus I have my weekly review in there. Uh, now, these are just routines. They don't really take my life further forward. Uh, and so I want to be able to filter those tasks out and just have work that I have that will take my life further forward. These are my current projects, if you like. And the filter for this is actually not the easiest one in the world. It's today plus today and overdue and uh, project work folder and project home folder. And so basically what this means is, is that anything that is due today or is overdue and is either in my work folder or my home folder, plus obviously my uh, nested projects inside those, will show up here. So I've got find a time for Joe English class, uh, redesign our name cards and also do a PowerPoint file for business creativity. Uh, don't worry about the filter, I will put this in the notes so you can copy and paste it. So this is my way of filtering out those tasks that uh, are not going to take my life further forward, my routine tasks, if you like. Uh, now, 
One of the problems I have with Todoist on my mobile is sometimes it can be quite overwhelming in the morning when I look at it and the tasks just go down the whole screen and I have to scroll down. So what I do is I separate them out into AM tasks. Now, I've done all my AM tasks today. I just have my reminder to do be more active today. But my AM tasks, the way I use my flags is, uh, if you remember, uh, the way I use my flags is red is absolutely urgent, must happen today. And the t priority two is for morning, priority three is for afternoon, and priority four is for evening tasks. So if I show you the filter here, I've got today overdue again, because that's I don't want to see tasks that are not due today. Uh, tasks that, of course, are priority one, because I need to know about those, and priority two. Uh, and that keeps me up to date with there. My PM task is the same um, filter uh, code, but what I do on here is I have um, P3, which is my afternoon uh, priority tag. So this tells me what I have to do today, which I have to edit my YouTube videos and find time for Joe. And I obviously don't need a, uh, an evening task because basically any task remaining in the evening is what I need to do. I also have my tickler. Now my tickler file is for, uh, items are in my tickler file for today um, because I can look at my tickler file to, on a weekly. So it's today and project tickler. And finally, I have computer. Now, this is um, because my computer is uh, where I do most of my work. I created a separate filter for that because um, when I'm sat at my computer, my laptop or my desktop, I can actually just see, have a look at what's going on in there. So I've just got at computer and today. So those are the filters that I use. As you can see, I don't have very many filters uh, because I've Basically, I sat down and had a look at how I work, where I work, and with what tools I'm working with, and I created filters that means I can just click into those and off I go. The filter that I use most is my AM task filters because in the morning I'm moving around a lot between classes, so I'm checking on my iPhone. But after my lunchtime classes, I do tend to use the PM tasks. But after that, the other, t the other filters I have in here are really used when I'm sat at my uh, computer and getting on with some focused work. So, there you go. I hope that has been useful for you. That is my um, the way I use filters. I hope that some of those filters will give you some ideas of how you can set up your own filters. And if you want to know more about filters, you can check out my episode on filters which is in my product, uh, my Todoist series videos. Okay, so until next time, have a great week, stay productive, and I will talk to you again soon.